Hello and welcome to the 11th. 12. 12. 12. 12. It's okay. I you were close. God. That's the well. episode of Cultural Connection. Today we have a very interesting and a very relevant topic. Um, I feel like I feel like everybody's gonna unanimously like disagree and agree with like the same things. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. And it has to do with Texas again because Is this about the abortion laws? We're all from yes. Texas. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. This is about the abortion laws. This is gonna be about the abortion laws, how Biden is like handling this. And then about like abortion, or not like abortion itself, because I'm pretty sure none of us here have experienced having an abortion. Yep. I kind of sure. hope not. <laughs> um, so we will be discussing those topics. Um, so for a little bit of background, if people have, do not know, uh, Texas has passed their new abortion law which bans abortions at about six weeks from the patient's last menstrual period. Um, And I think if once you get an abortion, like the people who will be in trouble is the patient itself, the person that is like doing the, or like- Conducting it? Yeah, conducting the, like the doctor. And then like anybody that is involved in the process of getting an abortion will be getting in trouble. Like, I think even taking somebody to get an abortion can get you in trouble. Yeah. Who's the one who did this? Is this Abbott? Yes, it is. Of course it's Abbott. Yeah. Of course it's Abbott. Okay. Who, who else? I don't know. Who else? Greg. Um, and then somewhere around, like, what? Last Thursday, I think? Or yeah. last, last Thursday? Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Oh, wait. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what I'm talking about. But, um... Biden is like, no. <laughs> no to like, the no. Um, habit or in, no to us? Uh, no to the abortion. He's looking into it as of right now. I forgot oh. exactly what they're going to be doing. I believe um, they're suing the state of Texas. Yeah, yeah. they're going to sue us. Oh, that's but fun. Yep, we're like, being sued. That's it. Mm-hmm. I guess. Um, but yeah, so he's looking into that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that he's not doing too much about it right now because... We have another thing to focus on, but personally, I feel like we should like maybe fix what's inside the country instead of focusing outside the country. I don't know, just a suggestion. Um, but yes, that is what we will be talking about today. Hey, so does right. anybody anybody want to throw their chips in first? Um. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anyone, but. The way that the Biden administration is going to sue Texas is because not about the abortion law, but about how they're going to enforce the abortion law. Because there's a law that states um, like a private party can't like Mm -hmm. um, uphold the law, like like the police. So and for the abortion laws to work, people who know someone that had an abortion, they can, like, make a report and, like, basically sue them. Is that is that what so it somebody is? Somebody could, like, already get an abortion. Yeah, I believe so. Knows, yeah. Like, you can, like, sure. snitch on people. Oh, my yeah, God. So, so um, mm. because that's how people are, are, are enforcing it, that's why the um, Biden administration is suing them. Mm. Yeah, I feel like they like compared it to like civilian vigilantes like taking it upon themselves to sue, like to like point out somebody. Yeah. Oh my like, god, the abortion quote unquote wrong. wrong. And also right. another reason why the abortion law is getting like reviewed is because it's going against the constitution. Mm-hmm. The constitutional Supreme Court case of Roe v. Wade. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's yeah, another I, one. AP government. I, I just looked I, it up. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in that part in government. I'm nowhere in government actually. Oh I wait, that is how... that is totally right. Roe v. Wade did was in Texas. Mm-hmm. So that oh. 
completely doesn't make any sense. There you go. What what is that? Oh, Roe v. Wade. Um, yes. So, uh, I'm okay. Well, I'm there's, I'm not sure if this is like a hundred percent accurate, but from what I remember from um, AP government, is that uh, Roe v. Wade was okay. So I think Roe was the anonymous woman who isn't anonymous anymore because she provided her name. So it doesn't really make any sense. But anyway, um, it was a case where a, I believe it was a woman who had multiple abortions <clears throat> uh, because of like, uh, it was just like her personal life and like mm -hmm. essentially uh, Texas tried to establish a law against uh abortions or like it tried to limit abortions to only where uh it was necessary for the health of the of the female at hand right <laughs> so like if it was like if it was completely necessary like if if the if the female's health was not entirely like stable enough to have the baby then that's the only situation where it would be allowed. But they used the, um, I believe it was the right to privacy, which I think is the 17th Amendment or the 14th. I don't really exactly remember, but... It's one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. It's like something to do with uh, right to privacy. And there was, uh, I think... Um, it was against Texas. the The ruling was against Texas, so it doesn't really make any sense now that we you're now making laws again about abortions or like limiting abortions. Right. That right. doesn't really make any sense. Mm -hmm. Um, specifically Roe v. Wade. Uh, the ruling was that the state may not regulate um the abortion decision within the first trimester, which I'm pretty sure. And okay, let me look it up. The first trimester of pregnancy, uh, it ends until the thirteenth week. So okay. it is unconstitutional to have any limitation within that point, which is what Texas has passed a law for. Okay, and oh. that's why they're saying it's unconstitutional. Oh, okay. Oh, I see now. And isn't this doing just that, which is having a limitation within that period? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it directly goes against the ruling of Roe v. Wade. Also, I don't know if this has to do with like Roe v. Wade or anything, but another part of the law that's passed from Texas um, is that it does not matter if the baby is a product of incest or rape. Yes, you, that's yeah. also something mm -hmm. that I heard. And I, oh my God, when I heard that, I was like, that one. yeah so it's like not only will you not even know that you're pregnant but if it was a baby born out of incest or rape then you still have to keep it God, yeah, as I of right hate now that idea i don't like yeah. the idea at all so of the fact that the government is trying to regulate abortions right and then like, it's uh -huh. all being regulated by people that do not carry children exactly right. oh that's God. that has to be the only reason they put it at six weeks because you have no freaking idea how a woman's no, body um, works yeah um as someone okay this is gonna be a little bit tmi but as someone who like i don't have like a regular period mm -hmm. um for mm -hmm. people like me who wouldn't even know they're pregnant until like i don't know 10 weeks 12 weeks yeah. in they're just gonna have to be stuck with a kid now. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. I don't think like people average... understand like how terrible it is to have a child when you're not ready to have a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not only bad for the mother but for the child. Exactly. Oh, that's that's a that's another great point that like I always thought of when it came to like being against abortion. That never made any sense to me. Right. Like, like, have you guys seen, like, those Instagram posts that'll be from someone that, like, worked at an abortion clinic? And it'll have, like, say, like, a like a fake name for privacy, of course, but, like, mm -hmm. what the woman was getting the abortion for. 
those like really made me think because there were some that were like 11 year old girls who had been raped right and then oh came in God. for an abortion because they got impregnated or in some cases this is something that does happen like i wouldn't say frequently but it, it happens mm-hmm. where the egg will get stuck in the fallopian tube so mm-hmm. if that baby grows in the because the baby's not supposed to grow in the fallopian tube the fallopian right. tube is like what connects the ovaries to the mm-hmm. uterus yes. if the baby grows mm-hmm. in the fallopian tube it's going to rip like it's gonna hemorrhage i think is the word the mother's yeah. fallopian yeah, tube right. and she's gonna bleed and die so right. it's either the mom or yeah. this clump of cells that has no conscience exactly another point <laughs> You know, isn't whatever. Mm-hmm. You have such a way with words. Yeah, sorry. I'm not, I'm not it's so here. profound. It's it's the uh, it's the concept of this this um, quote unquote clump of cells has no conscience. You know, and mm-hmm. personally, like this this might sound like very harsh in a way, maybe, but it's like people who are quote unquote pro life are pro life for this thing that doesn't even know it's alive. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they that's are. the that's the way that I, true. I feel like pro lifers like they only think about like in the moment of that, of that little mm-hmm. tiny cell Clump that's going cells. to it's quote pro unquote birth, die. Not pro life. Exactly. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if you really pro life would be yeah. If you really were pro life, you would actually think like what is the future of this child that is about to be born? Because or for the mom. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. E- either sides, right? Because, um, I mean, usually I think about, like, if a child is being born, right, born, right you think about, like, the future of the child. Mm-hmm. You kind of want that child to live, and you kind of want the mom to live as well. And if somebody is getting an abortion, like, I'm saying nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, it's because they, like, literally cannot have a baby. The environment they're right. in, they can't have a baby or anything like that. So if they do have <laughs> that baby, um, one, it can lead to like an abusive home life, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you like give that child to like you know put that child into the foster care system, uh, system the foster care system is already like Not corrupt good. as it is. So yeah. mm-hmm. it's just like, are you really pro life or are you like? Yeah. It's like, like these people are killing. so obsessed with like Unquote. birth, but they refuse to like reform the foster care and adoption system. If mm-hmm. you want these people to have their babies, but they don't want their babies, and you the you're babies. like, oh, we'll just put them and just give them up for adoption if you don't want it. The adoption system freaking <laughs> sucks. Yeah, like it would be better just to abort the child when it doesn't even know that it exists. Before, it's not like, even a child. It exactly it's not it's a, a child. A freaking clump of cells. It's an embryo. It's a zygote. <laughs> it's an embryo. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kept seeing tweets of like pro lifers like posting like embryos, and it's like this thing like it's so cute would you even want to kill it and it's like no, it's no, way it's like, the flesh it looks so it nasty it looks like an alien i'm it sorry like, oh so nasty god idiots it's such a weird thing to it's like. just so stupid look how cute this looks <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it looks like a chicken what? oh my god <clears throat> and like another thing about this ruling is like most women don't even know or most people don't even know that they're pregnant exactly until around like six seven weeks right. so like how the fuck are you gonna make the cutoff when they have an abortion before the normal amount of time that they would like mm-hmm. recognize mm-hmm. that they are pregnant right you know it's literally oh. it's i feel like that is the um like the only way they could literally get rid of all abortions in any like in any way you know like oh, oh let's make it before they fucking know that they're pregnant did you mm-hmm. guys hear about what greg abbott said and he was like this law is gonna stop all rapists <gasps> yes we you're an idiot that. yes we yes he did say that. Is this man mm-hmm. a fucking imbecile <laughs> it's oh like my god it's not going to 
how do you how is that even linked <laughs> yeah. to rapists exactly because well, I mean, like... it's like what that doesn't make sense <laughs> it doesn't make any sense how is it gonna stop rapists, like shaking in their boots yeah, whenever they hear that do, like, does he oh, think that rapists, you, rapists does he think that rapists <laughs> do what they do because they want to enforce like they want to force the person to have their child like that's not what that's right? about what? Huh? that's like, exactly is like is that like the swiper no swiping to them like <laughs> Like oh, my, oh dang it! I can't I can't make this this female have I my child. I can't do it now. Not, it's not worth like it. Like that doesn't make any sense. sense. I had a breaking um, news. Whenever we were watching that video in government, there was like a discussion going on in the side of the classroom, and I was like listening in, seeing if anybody was going to say something stupid. Um, and they were talking about like, I don't. How do I phrase this? Basically, somebody was like. I, if like, I don't want a kid, you know, I don't want a kid, like no matter what, mm -hmm. no matter what happens, yeah. if I want to get an abortion, I'm going to get that abortion. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. someone was like, what if you're in a relationship and your partner wants a kid, but you That's don't want not it? their body. And people, Is and the partner of, carrying the baby? Well, look, a exactly. lot of people were agreeing and being like, oh yeah, you should probably keep, you know, you probably really shouldn't get uh, an abortion no. if no. your partner mm -hmm. wants a kid. That makes sense. Obviously, personally, I don't agree with that, and I, I don't it's like a big either. red flag if that is somebody yeah. agrees to that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have, I, a lot of males yeah. Who I, have a, I have a question. Were the people who were agreeing, were they males? Yes, they were all males. Idiots! Okay. Wow, <laughs> are males. we surprised? Mm -hmm. I feel like no. a lot of people don't realize the, the dangers in pregnancy because like there's a lot of dangers that they don't tell you yeah you i get literally almost killed my mom like <laughs> i almost that's yes. like, I'm her only time. like my my mom um she had to have two c-sections like one for me one Mine for my brother because mm -hmm. she almost fucking died oh both times while she was pregnant with us you know but like yeah nobody tells you about the dangers and how you are very much putting your life at risk to have a baby Right. If you don't want to make that decision and your partner tries to force you into that decision, like, leave your partner. They're not they're not the ones in danger, you know? Mm -hmm. Like right. your partner's a fucking jackass. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to talk about the relationship between a mother and a child because I don't know if you remember from like biology, a parasitic relationship is when the host benefits well, the from host the, is at uh -huh. the disadvantage mm -hmm. and the other thing feeding mm -hmm. off of it is benefiting. So it's like one sided. So yeah. if that baby can't live without the mom, then, and the mom is having a disadvantage, it's up to the mom because it's her body. Like she doesn't need the child, the child needs the mom. Exactly. Yeah, Bryson said these babies are parasites. <laughs> they I are, feel like though. they're not even babies at that point. They're they're not not like chromosomes. Because unless I can hear them cry, make a sound, move, they're there it's not even mm -hmm. it's not a right reason. like i think True. it's it used to be after the first trimester you could no longer abort the baby because it like has a heartbeat now and stuff which yeah. i mean i guess kind of makes sense i don't know but like at the point that they're trying to stop abortions now it's literally like it looks like a freaking melted gummy bear like that's not a baby <laughs> oh my god no you know what it oh looks like it looks like those dead like those baby rats that were just born like the oh, that's yeah. exactly what it, it freaking oh looks like like it's not Ew. it's it, it it's like not mush. a baby and like like what um i don't know who said this but <laughs> i think it was sav that said this like with mother like pregnancy has so many underlying like things you have no idea about like mm -hmm. like when my mom was having me she had like heart problems that i kind of stirred up sorry <laughs> and she didn't know about them like she literally could have died because of me yeah. mm -hmm. and she has like still facing because problems of because of me <laughs> oh my gosh um when my mom had me she had postpartum depression and it was like yeah mine too like mm -hmm. so bad to the point that she couldn't take care of me like Dang. when i was born the only person that was taking care of me was my father yep um and i think she told me that the postpartum depression like kind of not enhanced oh my gosh like like impacted made her, no no made her anxiety worse oh she had anxiety um, and she had mm -hmm. um like um like a panic attack disorder and it made it so much mm -hmm. more worse 
yeah like, pregnancy, like they they will they can it can ruin your body for a lot yeah. exactly it can it ruin both ruin. your it does ruin your body oh my god did you know like it's a small risk but it's still like a very scary thing that your uterus can fall out oh, yes. Yes. pregnant oh. yes like that's fucking terrifying oh you kind of have to like rip the whole inside open just to get us out no exactly it rip. It, and there's like there there's people who had to get like stitches to stitch yes. it back up mm-hmm. oh yeah. oh and let's talk about that um, this does not pertain to abortion, but it pertains to having your uh, vagina sewn back up after birth. <laughs> I have heard from one of my teachers, I cannot remember who, but this was like a couple years ago, I think. I know that what you're talking about. Women okay. have literally no say in freaking anything because if you have given birth and you're getting your vagina sewn back up, some doctors will ask the husband if they want it sewn. They want your body so. Oh my up god! More. Wait, I heard about yes, that. Yes, I make your that. vagina oh, tighter in order to pleasure them, and it makes it hurt more for you. You oh, don't have yeah. a say in this. You don't get to like. You don't have a choice. Like it's your husband or your spouse that gets to make yeah. this choice for you. I, I don't think. I, Absolutely. I, personally, I don't think anybody I'm should heated. have any like have that much trust within their spouse to be making some some exactly. decision yeah. like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a little. That's oh, oh, that's so terrible. I don't and like with the abortion laws and stuff like that. Um, so my mom, right? She she had tried to um like abort me, but she had oh, to do God, it behind. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry, this is kind of <laughs> weird, but she had to do it behind my grandparents' back because they wouldn't let yeah. her have an abortion. Right, and it failed. And when she gave birth to me, she was like 18. Mm-hmm. Which I'm 18 right now. Well, I'm almost 18, but that's basically the same thing. <laughs> and for her to have to deal with such like a big responsibility at that age, like I, I don't want to say it, but I feel like I ruined my mom's like younger years, right? Because mm-hmm. she had to to use like her teenage years, her 20s to take care of me, right? Mm-hmm. And, and see, I feel. Well- how abusive like family home life right starts. yeah I feel mm-hmm. like that's really how it starts the fact that um i mean gladly you're not getting abused or no, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah like luckily your mom doesn't hold any resentment towards you but like there are a lot of people who when they are put into situations like that there's literally nothing else they can do they hold so yeah. much resentment for, to, towards their kid that and they were forced to like have the resentment towards the kid because the kid didn't do anything wrong but mm-hmm. towards like a life that they were supposed to have taken away from them mm-hmm. exactly and like i feel like abor- abortions now are still so like taboo and like hush hush like you have to if you have an abortion you have to keep it quiet because people will ridicule you they'll shame Mm -hmm. you for it they'll slut shame you for it Mm -hmm. even if it was like if it wasn't your fault you know that you got pregnant because there's cases where that does happen and i think it's stupid that people shame other people for abortions like i don't what is it with people not letting women to decide what they do with their own body i I don't understand why it's such like a big or like a big problematic topic about abortion because it it shouldn't be yeah and not only just abortions like women have so little say in their own bodies like with vasectomies i don't know if you guys know about it but if a man wants a vasectomy he goes to the doctor and he just gets the vasectomy. A vasectomy is basically yes. like you're tying your tube so you don't have kids. Mm-hmm. If a woman wants a vasectomy, she has. I think she has to be married. Um, I think in some, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but I think she might already have to have kids and the husband has to say whether or not she can have the vasectomy. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Wait, uh, first of all, I didn't even know women could get vasectomies. You I don't know if it's a vasectomy, but it's, yeah, it's basically you just location. no more kids. Oh my gosh. I did not know oh, um do that. No, but um my mom, she had her tube ties and like that was my mom, if anybody heard that. Um but anyway. <laughs> um <laughs> 
my mom, Why are you talking about my has- two? Her two ties, <laughs> but then she got really sick because she had an infection mm-hmm, right, because yeah. they didn't do it correctly. And a vasectomy for men, it's like so much safer for the yeah. man. Yeah, it's safer and it's reversible. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, well, you don't less need less. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's not even like it doesn't even have to be permanent. Like if you want kids, you can just like get it undone. But for women, that's not the case. It's yeah. very. It's a very um. Well, not very, but it's it's a risky procedure, and it's invasive. Know. Yeah, it's very invasive as well. My mom's friend, like her best friend, got her tubes tied, and the only reason they let her is because she was divorced and already had four kids. Mm-hmm. So serious? they were just like, "Oh, well, you're not having any more kids," but like they they asked so many questions about your life and like your experiences because if you're a woman who's like never had kids uh-huh. and you try to go in get um yeah they don't let you because they're like oh what if you change your mind or what yeah. if your husband wants to have kids that's like their go-to is like what if your spouse wants kids and like that doesn't fucking matter like yeah like it's not nothing their to do body mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. another thing i wanted to bring up like um i guess a rebuttal against uh like oh you're taking a life in terms of abortion like do people not i feel like a lot of these people have literally no fucking idea of how pregnancies work at all because literally okay so as a fetus you don't have um your nerves are not connected to your brain the whole time right Mm -hmm. your brain develops Mm -hmm. and then your nerves start to develop your the nerves connect to the cortex so it connects to the brain and you actually start feeling things around 25 weeks Mm -hmm. do you see the big ass difference between where texas is trying to put the limit versus where babies can actually start to feel pain six weeks and 25 weeks that's a big exactly it's like a 20 week difference like dog it makes no fucking sense. it doesn't make sense um before i ask the guys before I ask the guys your opinion, um, another thing is, like, with, like, what's it called? Like, examples of reasons people will get abortions. Sometimes the baby is literally not going to develop. Like, mm-hmm. they know the baby will either come out with, like, a terrible disability to where they will not be able to live a lo- normal life whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Or there was this one case I heard where the baby literally developed without vital organs. You're telling yeah. me. That you want women to give birth to something that literally cannot live a life or will come out dead anyway. What's the mm-hmm. freaking point of that? If it's that... going to come out dead or it's going to come out and not like basically be like dead with a heartbeat, mm-hmm. then like what? what's the point of having the baby? Yeah. It's, so... it's going to be stillborn. Exactly. So many women have stillbirths. So where the they give birth to a baby that's already dead because they were not able to have an abortion, but the baby is fucking dead. Exactly. Like, like it's very depressing, but I, I feel like it would be even more depressing to have to give birth to something that you are not able to support and keep, you know? Like yeah, because it's like you went through... Yeah, exactly, because your body went through all of these changes because you had to carry this baby... And then it just comes out dead. And you knew it was going to come out dead, but you couldn't get an abortion. Mm-hmm. Because the stupid Texas freaking government wouldn't let you. Yeah. Because Greg Abbott. Because Gregory decided... Abbott. Oh my God. It cannot it give just... birth to children by it nature. Make... Doesn't it have makes the body parts worse for it. When it's a guy that's telling girls yeah. that they can't do it, it's like, right. yeah. like, what do you know? What do you know? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What do what do our men think about this? All of this Hi that men. we have. Hi, men. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bryson. Why don't you go first? Okay. <laughs> well, obviously, women are not having autonomy over their bodies. They don't even have enough representation in the government, even exactly. though they're the majority exactly. in the nation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think it stems from like the history of how women have been treated, because like. In, like, the beginnings of America, women were, like, I would say synonymous to, like, pets. Like, they would show them off as, like, a little prize, but 
They're like, you do this, do this, but you, you are for me. You're not for yourself. No. And I think it's I not, think I continue. they're not catching up to mm-hmm. where women should have been since the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And they're just stripping away. I also think, I don't know if it's a conspiracy, but I think a reason why people are so anti-abortion is so that we can, you know, have more babies to take advantage of so we don't have to depend on outside sources since, you know, Texas is very conservative and they think immigrants are stealing our jobs That's even though they just take point. the jobs. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Oh my god, yeah. Because yeah, there has to be a reason, like, why do you want these babies so bad? Mm-hmm. For real. Yeah. We're already dealing with overpopulation. That's what I was going to say, overpopulation. And then overpopulation will affect all of us. Yeah. Exactly. The environment. Oh my gosh. So I, 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 I hate people. I actually had a friend um, who told me that she was pro life. Okay. Oh, and God. I was right. like, oh my God. Well, the thing is, like, obviously, like, I don't know, at least for me, like, when I'm friends with somebody, I'm not going to ask them, like, their political stance on something like the first time I meet them. But mm-hmm. I feel so was- like being pro life isn't even a political stance. It's like a human yeah. rights thing. Like right, it's right, the same exactly. thing as like I'm racist. What? <laughs> like that's not <laughs> a political thing. Yeah, there's so many things that are like um watered down like into being a rude thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like when that's they, not like, political. Like being racist is not a fuck like that's not a political exactly. thing. You shouldn't be right, racist, right. period. Or like being homophobic. Right. That's not your political yeah. it's not your political choice, idiot. That's For like real. rights. People right. who are just like, I don't believe that trans people deserve rights. Like, that's not a fucking political opinion, you <laughs> dumb, <laughs> you dumb ass. That's just morals, like. <laughs> For real. Um, but what do you call it? But the I don't ask for people's like uh-huh. human rights stance like right off the bat when I'm making friends right. and stuff. And obviously, the topic just never really came up between us. And so I was friends with this person for like, oh my gosh, I'm a year. And then they told me, they were like, oh, yeah, like, I am pro-life. Dog. Okay. I was going to be like, you know, like, we got into an argument because I was like, you're stupid. Because I swear, pro-life people, they don't think of, like, the future or the consequences mm-hmm. of having an abortion. And, like, the only only consequence they think of, like, um not having an abortion or of wait oh hold on the only consequence they think of having an abortion right is like oh like you'll die from an abortion yeah you'll die like like like, pull up statistics always like to pull up statistics right but even though like you uh, as you literally just said probably more likely to die from childbirth birth than from a abortion Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. I really don't think they see like what happens after birth. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's abortion. consequences after birth as well. There's so mm-hmm. many consequences, like overpopulation mm-hmm. again, which is like it branches off into so many different things. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, like the like the mental health of the mother or the patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? The mental health of the child that is about to be born, right? And the future and mm-hmm. things like that, a uh, foster care system, all those types of things. Like they're big contributions, and if they might not impact like you directly, mm-hmm. it's. I mean, it will somehow. Like it will mm-hmm. somehow impact you directly. Yeah, especially when we talk about like um, overpopulation, because that impacts the environment, and then the environment is going to impact us. That imp- mm-hmm. impact our food supply you know um, yeah. any resources things like that oh my god like I, I don't think they see like how much of an effect like like this like little domino effect that's gonna happen exactly. like, you know, a woman can't get an abortion and um i wanted to bring this up because it just i don't know why it irks me where it's like why can't we just like why can't we just all have an abortion, you know? Like, why does it have to be such a specific, like, 
scenario for us to have an abortion. Like maybe you're just like sexually active and like, oops, it happens and you want an abortion. Yeah. That's yeah, another thing. So taboo. Oh People God. have sex. Exactly. Surprise. It's literally yeah. in human nature to have sex. Like it's it's a normal thing. Why is it so mm-hmm. like, oh, like hush, hush. Like everybody does it at one point in your life. Like, <laughs> unless you're like, what's what's that movie? 40 year old. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, Mormons be fucking, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so to weird. any Mormons watching no. this. Sorry. Sorry no, but Mormons are the people who have like five wives. Like, yeah, no, but, oh my god, that but, is true. But Mormons, so, they don't have sex before marriage. But they still oh, have sex. That's the point. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. You're, married, you're probably having sex. That's how There's children are born. With having sex. Exactly. It's a human. It's a human thing. Just exactly. don't like. Don't and do like, it if you're like eleven. That's are, weird. Like so that, is that is true. That is weird. You know how guys just like kind of like present how many times they've had sex as like a trophy. Yeah. Yeah, and then a woman does it, and it's like you're a whore. Exactly. For real. We should, we, st- we should start calling men whores. And then they yeah, do it all the time. time. For it. And it's like it's it doesn't make sense to me. It's like the same. It's literally like you could have the same body count as a man as a woman, and then they would still mm-hmm. like such shame for it. Exactly. And then they'll try to make excuses like. I have a mutual on Instagram who will post and is like, like it's not the same when a woman is like sleeps around and stuff because it's like her not respecting her. That doesn't what like what so men or are a man are, respects himself to... more because he has sex with other people. And then right? like like what abortion like this conversation we're having ties into hum- like women's rights as a whole. Like, since mm-hmm. working forever, women have had, like, hardly any rights. I mean, come mm-hmm. on. And then, like, we get to a point where they give us, like, the bare minimum, and then they're stripping it away again. Mm-hmm. It's, We're, like, like, reversing. Yeah, it's, like, and then I feel like maybe they're trying to, like, Bryson made this, like, a, like, theory earlier about, like, they want more babies. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it's has to do with the objectification of women that were only here to be either a pleasure object for men or mm-hmm. to carry children and this dates back to freaking like colonial times like exactly um, no i like history and in a push we were talking about um like early settlement in jamestown i think Basically, the settlers, for some freaking reason, came with only men. And then they got here and they were like, okay, guys, this is a problem because we can't populate. There's no women. Yeah, Yeah. there's no women. And so the government back in England was like, I, and they sent a boat of women. And then the women come here and the men like buy them with tobacco like 120 something pounds of tobacco oh for them. however the women had a say in it but the problem is they brought the women for the sole purpose of populating jamestown and they bought the and women. they bought them with tobacco that's <laughs> tobacco so was nasty. Half crop, so that was like that was like i guess a form of currency i suppose oh my god but it's like the, it doesn't matter that the women had a say in it. They were being sold. And exactly. Oh like products. Like you ship freaking Nike shoes from overseas to the United States. Not women. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh. I don't know why they just like. I have nothing to say. Yeah. About. It's appalling. So like, it is. It's it, so yeah. appalling. And like the fact that you kind of never learn about that. Mm-hmm. ever but i feel like we are really reversing and like like i feel like um like women themselves have been a lot more empowered mm-hmm. um throughout mm-hmm. like the past years and stuff like that which is amazing and so great obviously and mm-hmm. then having like, girl boss <laughs> girl <Yeah. laughs> and then having like a law like this um you know yeah i mean publish it's like it feels like like they're trying to like like tear us down yeah exactly Mm -hmm. yeah it's really 
Sesame Street. Kenneth, what do you think? I yes. think I always thought that so much of this was just common sense. Right, it is common it sense. It is to so many people because right. there's like so many people who think things that okay. A lot of this to me just seems practical, but I assume that a lot of people have so much, like all this emotional stuff that's like they're trying to use it to to back up their statements or whatever. I don't know. I think that's really stupid. Anyway, um, why like is it is it not practical and common sense for the decision of an abortion to be up to the person at hand, not? whoever they are associated with not they're not somebody who is not them exactly that doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense why would you, why would that be another person's decision when it right. literally comes down to health it comes down to this quote unquote child's life when it comes down to um like their their mental health also mm -hmm. I, I, that, that it just doesn't like Mm -hmm. You know, why? And that that's one thing. Why is that, like, the first thing is, why is it not up to the person who is carrying the child? Second mm -hmm. is, it's common sense that this fetus is not conscious of anything. Yeah. So exactly. it's like, Were they oh, ever yeah, taken a science yeah. class? Like, <laughs> it's it, true. Like, if, if, People who always make the argument like you're killing a baby, right? Like, what is the baby gonna do? <laughs> like, that sounds so bad. Exactly. That sounds so what bad. It's like, do? like, is what is the baby like gonna that? do? Like, is it is it gonna like, is it gonna like punch me? Is it gonna like, is it gonna it, punch it, the female? Is it, is it like what? Have arms? Yeah, it like, starts it, like kicking you in the stomach, like. <laughs> like are are they are they gonna like That's resent so you in like spiritual form like oh spiritual. I, I couldn't believe you i was gonna I be president you. like what you're haunted by a bunch of fetuses <laughs> Ew. And, That's like, like a nightmare a good point though he was like when he said um why is it uh what why is it not up to the woman i've seen like we were talking about like sat satire and like satirical media in ela and we were talking about like political satire where people, you know, like that thing where people will go on the street and like interview conservatives about their beliefs. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I've seen some where like the interviewer, interviewer, oh my God, will like talk the conservative person into a circle. So they'll be like, why are you pro life? And they'll keep talking and talking. And then the, the pro-life person will be like, because it's my choice. Oh, it's your, it's your, your choice. So you're, you're saying that we should have a choice. So what I don't understand is if you think you should have a choice to not have an abortion, why do you think a person that wants an abortion should not have a choice? Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, I saw that with Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. I think it's hilarious because sometimes they'll, like, they'll talk them so much into a circle um, to the point where, like, the person who's, like, the conservative that's being interviewed is, like, ooh, hold on. Yeah, they're, like, they don't even know what they're believing in. Like, they have, what, it like, it's, it's funny. I think it's so hilarious whenever I see those. Because I saw one yeah, with, like, really Trump. Stupid. Um, and he was asking about, um, like, what has Trump done to benefit the America? The America? The America. They always say the same thing. The they States. always say economy. Every single time, they always say economy. It, they always say economy. And then, um, like, the interviewer is asking, like, anything other than economy. And could not answer. They just went blank. Could and the not fact answer. is, Trump did not help the economy that much. Did you see how many times we almost went into, like, an economic recession during his mm -hmm. presidency? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Trump Trump might be a whole different thing. Although sometimes I feel like some things just need to be left in the past. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Know, no Trump to us. As president was like a fever dream. Like it every was. every day How I woke up happen? and there was a new like news story. And during the Biden administration, I hardly see anything about Biden. But during yeah. the Trump, like every time I would open Twitter, it would be like, guess what Trump just did? Yeah. <laughs> 
it was some dumb shit like it's never even just like oh look at this like bad political decision he made it's like look at this bad political decision he made plus the way he talked about it afterwards on his twitter mm-hmm. account like, what the <laughs> fuck? or like in his um in any of his like uh, what do you call it it's like announcements or whatever or like yeah. his speeches oh my god they were so stupid they were so stupid like the way that he spoke to like i would be embarrassed to be speaking like that in front of all of these people, in front of the entire nation. Yeah. I don't know. The way that he spoke was like, I wouldn't say like presidential like, but like it just was un- not un- something un- that professional. should be Yes, extremely unprofessional. Not something that should be like, you know, um nationwide hell, even yeah. internationally wide, like like that's just exactly. Trump was a social experiment. I swear and part of it is because he had like no freaking political experience at all. He's, he's a, a celebrity. Yeah. yeah, he's like a celebrity oh. businessman. He's not. Stop freaking hiring freaking celebrities yeah. in political things. They don't know what they're doing. The also, thing another is, thing. Oh, mm-hmm. oh sorry. Um, but like another thing is, can we please have a fucking age cap? I'm tired of old people. Yeah, <laughs> get them out of people. office. <laughs> think, I'm out of office I'm begging they're making like choices that would affect people like 30 or 40 years later and they're not they're even, they're not even the here. make years America later. young again <laughs> true yeah all these like old men they don't give a shit about like abortion <laughs> and shit. Their ideas are outdated. Two, <laughs> yeah like one they don't care about abortions because they're men two they're too fucking old to see the effects of it. Like, they don't care. They're gonna be well, dead. They're too fucking old to see, period. <laughs> Let's just roast old people. Come on. Oh my gosh. Um, but what do you call it? Oh, I was gonna talk about, like, because Savannah was saying, like, like, we need to stop having these, like, like, rich people, like, being in office, stuff like that. And I, um, I was talking about this with a friend, because we were kind of joking around because I was like, oh my God, I could be a politician. And she was like, you technically could. You literally could. Anybody, you could no, come up with an absurd yeah. yeah, and people no, no. will follow you. I'm telling you, almost anybody that lives in the United States could become a politician or at least yeah. like a representative of their state. Yeah. The only thing that you need to have to become a representative, like to like actually, like actually, actually become a representative or anything like that is is money that's all you need mm-hmm. yeah it does not and some matter. obscure idea you just have to be convincing enough and people will listen to you that's why donald trump was so popular is he was a convincing man Bro, he wasn't. Yeah, it was a social experiment I, I'm, no I'm, <laughs> like i'm so like am i just like not easily convinced or something because he wasn't convincing at all like i don't even think like a stupid person would be convinced. Like he wasn't like convincing to me because I don't share the ideals as him. But I mean, obviously, yeah. he was convincing to a large amount of people. Yeah, <laughs> like I guess if you have those ideals, because he mm-hmm. very obviously appealed to um, a specific group a, of people. Exactly, and none of us fit into that demographic. So true. Right. I guess that's true. Like, Alex, we were you should about, be a politician. You should. I you should. could. Oh you literally, no, well, don't. You could be but, a convincing man. You, I am you a literally, man. you could. Mm-hmm. You could go up there and be like, I think orphans don't exist. And then people will be like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. The other day, Alex convinced me that their birthday was like April 3rd or something. So, yeah. And then you texted me and I was like, oh, yeah, it is. And I knew that it wasn't. No, yeah, why the no, fuck you no, you that? did not. I don't know. Savannah, Savannah, don't lie. Savannah you said it was is... March 23rd. I thought it was the 22nd. It's the 24th. Fuck y'all. I hate y'all. Anyways. No, <laughs> but the, both Savannahs are easily gullible. Gil- that is true. Got, That's so that true. Gullible. Gullible. And Savannah, have Savannah's boots. got balls got hard. Why? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, she's talking about me. Oh. <laughs> so it was for a split second. Not only men, not only men have no idea of anatomy, but so does Savannah. <laughs> okay, but like, I'm, I've never, 
I've, I've never come in contact with balls before. I'm sorry. Okay. No, okay. So, <laughs> no, because I can really convince sorry. both of you that I didn't steal something and have it right in my hand. Um, anyways. Fuck off. So, You're just a thief so and a liar. Exactly. Oh, so you could be a politician. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's the perfect combo. But, like, what we were talking about, like, like we start talking about politics and that brings me back to what we were talking about how politics and human rights get like joint Bible. like yeah. yeah they get like mm-hmm. combined like it's like a gray area and it should there's like a very thick line between human mm-hmm. rights and politics like you should not be disagreeing whether or not I should have rights because I'm Asian <laughs> that's yeah. like, right that's beyond exactly. me like that shouldn't be up for debate like everybody should have the same opinion like i think everybody should have rights and one thing conservative people love to quote is like um what is that called that thing john locke made up the or i don't think it was him but it was like what he he based what thomas jefferson wrote the declaration of (laughs) yes he is thomas jefferson was thomas jefferson I don't wrote think the so. Declaration of Independence and got he's his not, information from John Locke. Jo- and John Locke Thomas was like, Jefferson literally have slaves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he I did. I don't think he's but Thomas, Thomas was like, um, all people deserve the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And all conservatives love to say that. No, think John Locke said. Saying, and then Property. come back to me and try to justify why you're racist after yeah. you freaking said, like, they just contradict like they always talk themselves into a circle your beliefs make mm-hmm. no sense in my mind because if you think that if you think um all people deserve the right of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness why do you think you're allowed to be racist yeah you're, you're contradicting yourself they're like that's my happiness <laughs> only mine only my, my life hating minorities Love that's my, my happiness. happiness. Oh my gosh. Um, but I, I, I think, I'm, like, oh, what? I mean, if you hate people, then you're going to be stressed. So that's going to shorten your life. So it goes against them. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's they fucking true. die that's already. True. They're not valid. They're not based. They're not, not based. based at all. Hashtag not, not poggers. Not poggers. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Can oh we pick you off? We're going to replace you with Bryson that's- now. I didn't, even, I didn't even introduce Bryson as a guest this time. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a core member. Today, guys. <laughs> it's so I'm not a core cool member. To say yes. that. What? See, I'm just... I'm naturally in the group. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. And then yeah. I replace you with somebody, like, in two weeks. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's so mean. I'm You're evil. Dang. Um, what do you call it? What was I saying? I was gonna say something about politics and human rights. Obviously, politics and human rights. I feel like those are like two very different things, and people try so hard to like mix them together. So much to the point that, um, yeah, like a lot of people just think basic human rights are like tied in, like completely mm-hmm. intervened with politics. Yeah, completely. not. Law like, doesn't say that you have human rights you have no human rights basically even mm-hmm. though human rights completely technically it's just above the law isn't it right right like i don't know i feel like the reason so many people equate human rights to politics is because in basically every situation of minorities we've had to fight political powers to receive human rights Right? Yeah, right so like mm-hmm. for example people will say that like blm which is a civil rights movement mm-hmm. is a political movement when it's very much not it's so. very much not human rights movement yeah it's not a political like, movement i don't know it's not even like a political party or anything like that mm-hmm. yeah. well, so my political party is blm <laughs> what side are you on up blm are you racist or blm are you racist or blm 
<laughs> That's a good one. Oh my, oh my gosh. Um, so funny. They're God. They're so different because I feel like politics, in this like politics, politics. There can be some gray areas, but when it comes to human rights, it's very, it's very much black and white. It's very yeah. much yes. Everyone has human rights. Every mm-hmm. single person does. And you know, with politics, you can have those gray areas in like some aspects, but like human rights, it's it's straightforward. It's really straightforward. Yeah, it's like, do you have the right to make your own decisions? Yes. Okay. Like that's it. That's literally that is it. it. That's literally it. <laughs> that's what the abortion conversation should be. Do you want to be able to make your own decision? Yes, yes. I would. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's I think like, we should talk you know, to the politicians. We can convince them. We can. Us. We should be politicians. Through a dis- this is how through a Discord call. This is how they used to do. This is how they used to conduct like political things in colonial times on Discord. No. <laughs> They were on Bro, was Thomas Jefferson was using Discord? Bro, Please. wait, who do you think was the one wearing the cat headphones? Like, um, Alexander who was Hamilton. The Discord Hamilton. <laughs> oh my God, am I Hamilton, Kitty? Shut Please don't say oh that. Oh my God, I hated that. that so much. <laughs> but they would like have town Thomas hall Jefferson meetings, and they would just raise their hand, yes or no, and then it was it was literally majority <laughs> yeah. rules, and they'd be like, I, and that's how they conducted the law. Like with no, no, any, any, like, oh, here is why. Like, no, there was like, like yeah, yeah. there's no debate. There's no. No, nope, they were just like yes or no, and then they were like, okay, this is what we will do. Yeah, can you imagine? So it's dumb. like, it's like, should people have rights? Only two people raise their hand out of like fifteen. Well, well that's, that's like a bunch of like, like a bunch of people raise their hand, and then you have like those like four or five people that don't raise their hand like oh my god that's so embarrassing <laughs> isn't that kind of like what the conversation about slavery was like yes good? yes like are black people human two people and raise then, their hand for yes <laughs> and then everyone else is like no and then they're like okay sounds good to <laughs> yeah me. like keep moving on let's move on they've done this multiple times throughout history and that's why this does not work and that's why we should not have a yeah or nay system because mm-hmm. We should like, not be it just having doesn't, political doesn't parties work. at all. Oh my god, I can go into a whole ass rant on why. Yeah. Like, what is the meaning of this? Aren't we supposed to be coming to like a consensus, like between all of us why for the greater so, good? So yes. God. From each other? Mm-hmm. Why can't we all just be like a unity? Isn't this the United States? Yeah. Not the United much United not. States? I feel United. like. We need a true democracy and not a democratic republic. That's right. what we want. Because exactly. it's just a blame game at this point. It's like, oh, Democrats mm-hmm. did this. Republicans did this. Why can you not come together and stop the COVID-19 pandemic? Do yeah. something. Oh, my God. I'm not going to say, y'all, yeah, it's not that hard. But, like, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. hard. It for you. It's not that hard. If little kids can come together and do something as a team, why can grown men not come together and do something as a team? It doesn't make any together? sense. I'm sorry. Shut up. I didn't say anything. But um, this was a good conversation, I think. This was. It was I a long conversation. It. In conclusion, abortion is not, it should not be a political issue. It's a human rights issue. And women should be allowed to have abortions. If you want an abortion, go get your abortion. Safely, please. It does not matter. Safe, obviously safe. Yes. Please, please be safely. safely. Please be thinking of yourself whenever you are getting an abortion. And mm-hmm. don't do not do the hanger. Don't do, do yeah. that. Please. Oh, um, oh my if God. anything, please don't do that. drink mugwort tea. It's a natural abortant. Oh, really? You're welcome. Oh. Yes, it is. Ooh, oh okay nice Got yeah it. do that also do- don't if your partner tries to pressure you into having a baby leave your partner leave them and then go get that abortion you want sis exactly yeah um obviously all those things are your choice if you don't want an abortion don't 
have a fucking abortion. It's it's so simple. Yeah. It's and so if you simple, want one, then go do it. And then go get one. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but obviously, this was a really good conversation that we had, and hopefully, something gets actually done about this abortion law, um, because that's, it will not be fun. It will not be fun. So I want to I want to thank Bryson for being on here again. Woo! Thank you, Bryson. Yeah. Thank you, Bryson. Bryson. You're so welcome. <laughs> and obviously, we want to thank our viewers for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. Um, turn on <laughs> follow the us on Instagram and Twitter. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter because I'm pretty sure Savannah's gonna post something soon. I am. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so good at keeping up with her on Instagram. Twitter because nobody follows our Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> probably not salty about that but anyways thank you so much for watching and tuning in and we will see you all in the next one bye bye bye, bye. bye. bye.